It's your personality, EA. It's your tour guide, EA. It's whatever you want to call me, but call me EA. Let's roll. Are you kidding me? So, man, I had to sit down with the mirror, man. What's going on? Big What's Sam. up, family? How you doing, EA? How you living, baby? Oh, man, I'm good, man. Thanks Life for sitting good, down man. with me, man. Tell my people who you are. You know what I'm saying? A little bit about yourself. Yeah, man. Well, I'm Samuel Thompson, man. Born and raised in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Emmanuel Hospital. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Emmanuel Hospital. So, man, just a product of this community, man. Um, I had a mother that moved around a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, I was... You know, as a, as a kid, I thought it was a little, you know, difficult, but it turned out to be a blessing because I had the opportunity to live in every community mm -hmm. uh, from north to northeast to Gresham, uh, wherever there's Texas Section 8, man. That's right. where we was at. Yee, yee. And so, um, so you was gang affected without yeah. being in the definitely, gang? Definitely, definitely, so definitely, definitely. All came from the same stuff, man, um, but was fortunate not to make some of the choices that my friends made, you know. And so... Um, Again, moved around, and that, that allowed me to know everybody mm -hmm. um, and be a village baby, man. This community yes, raised me. Yes, sir. The community raised me. And so, so you've been here all your life? My whole life, man. Yeah. Yeah. So you know life. everybody. You, so I, you at the stage right now, you know the grandmas. I know the grandmas, yeah. I know the and mamas, the, and, the, and, and I know the babies. With the kids. Yeah, man. And so it's been a blessing, man. I'm from Portland through and through. I love this town. Um, person just big on uplifting my people yes and my people when i say that i mean black folks in particular yes sir and uh yes, sir and i want to be very 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 poignant on that point that everything that i'm doing is for the greater good of my people us uh, you know and i think a lot of times we we tie in our movement with everybody else's movement right and we're not intentional on saying that righteous. what i'm doing is for black folks righteous and that's what i'm on righteous life is actually really good right now man yes sir i seen what's going on man yeah. like Next level is on the next level. We're on the next level, man. We just knocked out uh, the 27th annual Good in the Hood, man. We had yes. over eight, 9,000 black folks in the park, man. man. No problems. It was beautiful, man. Angela Woodbush came and did her thing, man. And so I'm on a high right now. Man, what, yeah. else, what else is going on, man? I seen the real news that you know, <laughs> saying they, everybody want to know what's going on. They, they want to know how and when because we don't stand up normally. So we usually take shit in the yeah. for lack of a better word. What happened, got, man? Just tell me how it started. So one night, man. Um, I was hosting uh, David Jefferson's Walk This Way over okay. at Paris Theater. Okay. And that night I met uh, DJ LaFreak. And so he hit me and was like, um, he was having his birthday party at, at Paris, I mean, uh, at Dirty when I slide through. So I'm right. like, yeah. He said he had a VIP section for me or whatever. So I showed up. He was like, man, you know, if you could get on the mic for me, you know, it's my birthday or whatever. So me and do one of my you. guys, yeah, do me. So yeah. one of my guys showed up. Um, I got to the door. I had on a black mannequin shirt. Shout out to black mannequin. Yes, sir. Um, had a black mannequin shirt on, some jeans, and some red Kobe's. And uh, the, the security guard was like, hey, man, you can't get in. I said, for what? He said, you got on too much red. I said, what does too much red mean? He's like, those are gang colors. Did he know who you were, though? Nah. I said, oh. hey, man. So I said, bro, I'm the furthest thing in the world from a gang member, man. man. You know, I would, don't worry about that. Let me in. He's like, right. I can't. You know, that's gang attire. So I pulled out my business card, man. This is when I was, uh running an alumni program and I was like hey man I'm Sam bro I like you know you have to introduce uh, yeah I'm like hey, I'm Sam bro blah, blah, blah. he was like hey you know these are gang colors you can't wear this in so we had a little baby a little back and forth not nothing major and then I was like all right bro well, you know if y'all don't let me in man I'm really gonna push this issue bro because y'all been <laughs> right. y'all been doing this for a long time you know <laughs> right. what I'm saying and I ain't the one to be doing this to I'm the mayor and he was like uh at that point they went inside they got me like a Ciroc t-shirt Put this t-shirt on you can come in i'm like man nah. I'm trying to redress you yeah i took time to put on my outfit you know how absolutely, we do absolutely. you know how we do with our outfits and so um came out that i said hey man well i guess y'all be here for my lawyers next time you hear from me so um they thought you was playing thought i was playing you know and so one thing man i'm a person that if i say something i'm gonna do it absolutely. so uh reached out to my lawyers at the time i have the same lawyers that uh are helping uh do the Blue Fontaine case. Okay. And they were doing the Exotica case. Okay. Rest in peace to Donna Thames, man. Rest yes. in peace to yes. her. Yes, rest in peace for sure. Um, and so all this stuff had happened to me before when I had my bar, mm -hmm. you know? And so, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, we met up, we talked. They said we had a good case. And initially, bro, I was going to change the policy. That's like, all you wanted. All I wanted to change the policy, change the dress code. The dress code ain't cool. Right. The dress code is made to target people that look like me. Right. Um, these people profit off of people that look like me. Right. Our right. music, yep. we become millionaires off of our culture and our music and black men. But 
the dress codes that are in a lot of establishments downtown are targeted to keep black men out, you know what I'm saying, which is a, a cold little field. Man. And so um, as we kept going in the process, further and further and further, the deeper we found out, we found out more stuff about the owner. Okay. And as that grew, as that grew, the case grew. Righteous. And then it ended up, man, you know, it ended up how it ended up, man. How did it end up? Uh, we ended up settling, man. Uh, pre-trial was set for 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we came up with a settlement. They gave us an offer that, you know, I couldn't refuse at Absolutely, the time. Absolutely, because you wasn't really about the money. It nah, was about the policy. exactly, exactly. And it included changing the policy. Absolutely. So, that was the main thing. Uh, with that, uh, about 148, right before we basically ended it on the court steps so celebration here we are celebration clap, clap, man. bravo <laughs> my guy my guy my Nobody, friend Moscato, man. we don't do this enough we don't yeah. we don't celebrate victories enough bro you know what i'm saying we and, celebrate the wrong stuff you know and I mean? the thing is man we have to focus on changing policy yes so policy. you got some man policy are you gonna run for mayor for real man god willing man i think i'm a uh Change, like I'm a, commissioner I'm a, I'm a take, i think i'm gonna take my hand at some city council stuff like next year yeah and see you know i'm a I'm a black man in a white city who's, uh, you know, I've never been in trouble, man, but I say wild shit every now and then. Absolutely. So, so I have to prepare for that, man. But my lawyers are really big on trying to push me to get in there every day, you know, and so you my community, be. my community's be. behind me. So I think I'm going to try my, t my chance at it and see what I happens. Saw you, I saw you uh, a few weeks back, it was, you know, in a public forum, and, you know, I pulled you to the side. I was like, congratulations yes, and sir. everything. It was before the case. I didn't even know nothing about the case. It yeah. was like, I was congratulating you on your movement and how yes, you. Sir. How you really, really, really like got the community on your back. Yes, sir. It's a tough job, bro. So man. I wanted to say it publicly. Congratulations. <laughs> I appreciate putting it, the, man. Putting the community on your back is a lot of work. Bro. I appreciate it, you know man. And you know what? And it's, it's not something that you initially sign up for, man. Absolutely. It wasn't, you know, that wasn't never the intention uh, to try to, you know, to step into um, a form of leadership in my community, man. I'm just, but somebody has to do it. But I'm just a member of the community and I'm all about, man, if you see a need, feel a need. And so, you know, I've seen a lot of gaps and some stuff, man, and, and, and through the, the grace of God and my community and my team and my support group, we've been able to step in and, and, and fill some gaps for our community, man. So, so what's up for next level? What, you know, what you got hey, going man, on now, man? I'll tell you this, we good. Yeah, for sure. We good. For we sure. good. And it's going to be... Um, some real changes in It's going to be a lot of real change, man. And I'm yeah. one of the people that, um, you know, I've been doing for the community while I have nothing. And so now that, you know, I, I'm blessed with a little bit of something. Absolutely. You know, the blessing to grow. You know, for us. That's blessings. Yeah. How do we further the culture, man? How do we further the culture, man? Um. How do you suggest it? So for me, man, I think that we have a lot of people doing the same thing, right? So if we can figure out ways mm. to channel our energy into specific things, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? There's no reason for 50 people to have a nonprofit if Righteous. we got three that do all the work. Hello. There's no reason for Hello. us to have 100 podcasts if we got 10 that are really doing their thing. There's Hello. no reason to have... You know, because we're all competing for the same dollar, the same community. And if we can all come together on some unification type stuff and really push our issue, because we don't, you know, we get put to the back seat of everything. Every so movement. that's probably why we always, that's why it's probably got like 50 nonprofits and, you know, why people just decide to do their own thing because the unification doesn't, yes. even, doesn't even try to exist out there. But because we grew up doing it for ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. So we grew up doing it for ourselves and once we got it, we was like, man, not a lot of people help me get this. Right. It's mine. Right. It's mine right. instead of, you know what I'm saying, right. understanding that you got blessed to be a blessing, man. Hello. So if we can unify, um, and we can, bro. We don't, this ain't Chicago. Right. This ain't L.A. It ain't a million of us out here, man. It's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. It's very tough. It's, it's very tough. tough. And we got to get through some some local hood and community politics to get to it. But, right. um, you know, and I think that's part of kind of what my role is, man. You know, I'm a person that's good with everybody yep you know yeah they're blessed to not have no enemies i know of yep and so um and if they are they just they just tripping <laughs> they want to be enemies yeah. just because they, you know and they gotta have a job too yeah and so i just think man if we can get on one page or in one book in one we ain't book. all got to be on the same page man yeah, that's big. we get in one that's book big. man everybody got their own chapter but we all on the collective bro I think where do we do. start bro like how do we start how you suggest we start bro because i'm looking to i'm looking to rejoin the community in a certain sense like I, I put this platform together to be a voice for the underserved and uh -huh. the privileged. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with you. It shouldn't be 10,000 of us doing the same thing. However, I don't feel like I can work with just anybody in this community and that's, because of those politics. And, and so, that. and you know I think I mean? that's the difference uh, between us and other communities that are more affluent. Um, I had a met with uh, uh, 
an Italian guy one time, and he said, man, the way we work is if it's for the good of all of us, it don't matter how I feel about you. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And I think that we have to get away from a, a lot of our personal feelings and look at the bigger picture on how uh, eventually it will affect our children, Righteous. how it affects us, how it affects our total community. That's and that's huge. tough. That's huge. That's tough, but that's man, huge. you don't have to love everybody you do business with. You ain't even got to like them. Right. You just got to do straight up business. For you know me, there's no permanent enemies in business. I no, never I had can't. a permanent enemy. I'm a lover. I, yeah. I wake up loving. That's why I look beautiful. Yes, because sir. I don't, I don't spend time being mad at nobody. You can't. If I had opportunity to to shake everybody's hand, anybody, even the, even the people that say they don't like me, I, man, I'm still a lover to them, believe it or not. Like, you I have, have no to. bad blood, but how do you reach out to those people that, you know what I'm saying, that saying that they don't like you? Like, so, so my thing is, and what I want to do is, and that's a, a part of the vision coming up, man, is create a platform of us, uh, a forum, where we can get in. Um, like the board of players. Yeah, man. And Call and, it the board and, of players. And just delve into some stuff, Hello? man. Let's hash the it out. Let's players. figure it out. I had to do it with my family before, man. Get everybody yeah. together. Mediators. And hey, you yeah. know, and, 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 and be able to, hey, man, okay. I understand y'all got an issue. Is that issue unrepairable? Right. It's unrepairable. Cool. We're going to keep y'all from each other, but we still under this conglomerate. We're right? still in the book. We're still here. We're still the book. And so I like it. I like we're it. all talking about pushing for the betterment of us, man. Right. The betterment of us ain't just about me. Or right. you, you right. know what I'm saying? Or anything that happened years ago. Who cares? Yeah, for sure. Because we all got some stuff. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you sitting down. You got me thinking differently. Yeah, you know man. What I'm even even about you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because you are you are like a community leader, but then but then you got that side of you that be like, I'd be like, damn, I always have a question mark on. Yeah. You definitely answer some of those questions. Yeah, definitely. In my head. Because man, you know at the saying? end of the day, man, I'm human, fam. Absolutely. How can the people follow you? Okay, man, uh, social media. I'm Seasoning on Instagram, S-E-E-Z-N-I-N on Instagram. Samuel Thompson on Facebook. Uh, also, you can follow our pages on Facebook, uh, Major League Promotions, P-Town Media. Uh, yeah, shout out to P-Town Media, P-Town man. Media I, I really want to work with man. that guy, man. I got you. I, I want to work with that guy, I put man. that together it's ASAP. Like, I, can't, if, I just can't get a read on him. But he's a good dude. No, like, he's amazing. And I like dude. what he's got going on. He's an on amazing him. dude. Sure. Put that so together. So that's my bro. So I can put that together anytime. Yeah. So you ever you gonna get media? back into comedy? Man, actually, yes. Comedy is about voicing your experiences, man. We all got uh, commonalities in our life, man. And so yes, I'm sir. able to do that. My big thing is, man. I want to. I want to host. I want to host uh, comedy events uh, going forward with Next Level. We're gonna start doing okay. uh, more concerts and shows, yes, sir. bringing more comedians to the town, creating an avenue. Uh, for local artists, local comedians to do that. So everything's yeah. coming, man. And changing the codes. And changing the codes, man. Ooh, that's big. Changing the codes, Final man. words, bro. You got any final words for my people? Man, number one, I, I appreciate you having me here on Analyze This, man. I love what you're doing on other platform. Appreciate you. Um, and just going forward, man, it's all about winning. Yeah. We win it. Winner circle. Let's win, baby. Hey, the board of players, bro. Get board that, of players. Get that shit rolling, bro. Yeah, I'm you gonna the, get that You going. the only man that can do it. I'm gonna go get it you know together, what I'm bro. I can't do it. I want to be a part of it. But you can do it. That's a dope acronym. Board of Players, a, a team of us sitting down, basically monitoring us, holding us accountable. You know what I'm saying? Modeling the rules. The first rule I won't change the Board of Players is that snitch code shit, man. That shit's corny, man. Yeah. That shit's corny, bro. That killed our whole community, bro. Yeah. It killed our whole community. Because niggas from here, they don't even understand what that word really is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They put a jacket on niggas and just, just because they can, they just think the word has become watered down. And then, and then, you know I mean? and then pick and choose who they want to get a Absolute. jacket. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, so, and we understand the codes of the streets, man. Let's just. Yes, sir. Let's, we got to change those codes to the streets because we are the elders, we are the leaders. Facts. Some of those codes is, is you know, but some stuff we got to keep across you know the board. And, and what's weird, let's get it out of here. Hey, hey. Yeah. So when you put the board of players together, bro, I got to be. I gotta be at the table. You're a player. Why yeah, wouldn't you sure. be? For sure. I gotta be Why at the table. Why wouldn't you be, man? man? I'm sure. just I'm excited though, bro. I'm excited yeah. for this. Yeah, I think for this sure. is dope. I'm very yeah, happy. Yeah, support this. Yeah. I need your support. You the mayor of the city. You know, sure. you the mayor and the governor. I think that's what we are, man. We're stepping into that next Absolutely. realm of leadership. Absolutely. And it's a transition happening right now, yes, man. Sir. And, and and we got the torch right now. We can't fumble it. Yes, sir. Because in 20 years, it's going to be our babies. Well, I think we're in good hands these. with you. I, I think we're in good hands that, with you, bro. We'll talk. That. We'll talk. Like, I appreciate that. As soon as they put this, you know, soon, soon they put you in a position where you got resources and you're able to put back, I know this city's going to look, it's gonna gonna look different it. instantly. We're going to touch yeah, everything, sure. man. Appreciate you coming. All right, man. Thank you so much, family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
analyze this topic at gmail.com. If you want to be a guest, you know someone suffering from injustice, you want to be a voice, you serve the underprivileged and the underserved here, people. Let's go. You better subscribe to this and this anytime you see it. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Let's go.